generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Interplanetary. Today's beverage is <sighs> green tea. Mm, I always have at least one green tea a day and many out of habit it's always after my dinner pretty much. So I have a dinner and then I have a beverage of green tea. I mean I have 10 or 12 beverages a day. I mean that could just be include waters and such but uh, I always make an effort to drink green tea because it's supposed to be good for you and all of that. To be fair I have balanced that off today with a massive fry up followed by a green tea so you know wins and losses, checks and balances. Either way Interplanetary has got nothing to do with fry ups or green tea. Its purview is to do with with, I guess, artillery and space-based laser weaponry and all of that sort of thing. It's a space-based artillery game. Actually, could you call it space-based? I mean, you have a planet and you can shove loads of guns on the planet and then you shoot other people and you can have intelligence and all of that sort of thing. I've featured it a couple of times on the channel before, but not in recent times, so I thought we would have another look at it. I'm going to go to Play Local, which I've never done on the channel. I'm just going to add all of the AIs here. It's actually recently been released uh, out of early access now, so it's officially sort of done. I don't know if they're going to continue on with it or not, but um, from what I've played so far, it's uh, it's pretty much what you uh, saw before or what you may have played before, seeing me play. Uh, just with a little bit more extra in it and a bit of polish. It still doesn't run that great for some reason. You'll still get like choppy frame rate in different places. But uh, yeah, it's it's one of those games that I actually do, I actually like. But it's, it's uh, I have to be in the mood for it. It's not one of those games that I can just sort of jump in and play it, you know, willy-nilly. I have to play it like, you know, proper times, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a mining outpost somewhere. There's a Serrier or something. I'm going to get a power plant, or sorry, a solar plant. And then we're going to get a mine connecting to that. And that will pretty much do us there. We need to go to research. And I'm going to research by mass biochemical processing, which gives me uh, a couple of different upgrades. That's one of the things that I uh, didn't have when I was playing previously. So now, things like cities and such, and pretty much any building that you make, you can click on and you actually give it an upgrade. So it could be like, for example, um, Behavioural Pattern Analysis gives you global intel and some stealth as well, or you can go for a molecular recycling plant, which is material 200 tonnes, which is, you know, alright, I guess. You can only have a certain amount of upgrades, though, and I guess it's a case of managing them upgrades. That's all plant currently don't have squat. Anyway, we're just going to actually do I want that? No, yeah, we'll, we'll do that one next turn. So what it's going to do is calculate the uh, opponent's turns and such. One of the bad things about the game is that it does take a while to play. I mean, I've played a couple of multiplayer games. One of them I didn't get finished and one of them I did and I actually won and it took me two and a half hours to do. So uh, yeah, that's... Uh, a long time and it obviously is turn based and stuff so when you're actually playing multiplayer uh, it, ca it can take you know 10 minutes a turn because people are thinking and doing different things even single player it can take a while for the computer to work things out I'm gonna go for fourth gen nuclear reactors because I like nuclear reactors they do take actually some mass they do take some of this uh, mass is it called mass in the game uh, material okay material yeah it does take some of that but it is worth it so there's my main city and a solar power plant and a mine I'm gonna build another mine right next to it although I can't connect it to that you can see See there's two little dots. Let me drop that too. Well, hang on, drop that. Uh, how do you drop it? There we go. Uh, there's them two little dots there. That means like your connections, so uh, your well your energy connection. So the soul plant can have up to three. Obviously, it's only, it's already got one use. So I could say do if go for a mine and then say mine there. And then you go we connect a mine up and then say another mine over to there. Then that connects them all up and obviously they're now powered. If you don't power them, then they ain't gonna work, are they? The more stuff connected to cities, the better because it will then uh, grow and such. I'm just gonna click on that city and give it an upgrade which I don't have any upgrades, so I'm not going to do any of that thing. Uh, I can go for a mine, though. There's an upgrade on a mine. We can go for multi-stage refinery, which is planet material consumption minus 30%. The thing is that you only have a certain amount of material. You can see there your mouse over the top left, and it says left on the planet. Obviously, you've got 100,000 material on the planet standard. It's going to take me 284 turns to mine that out, which is, yeah, that, it's never going to happen. That'll be reduced based on how much I upgrade and such, but yeah. Once that's out, you can't actually go any further. So it is possible to turtle up in the game and actually just win by watching your opponents run out of material. <laughs> um, I will probably go for... Let's give an upgrade of minus 30% consumption on the planet because you can see I'm actually using 150 tonnes. 150T, I guess tons uh, per turn, but I'm actually only gaining 120, uh, 100 because of the uh, the wastage. So if I get that, if I get that upgrade, I could go for a couple of other things. Uh, should we do for that one? Yeah, no, we'll leave that for now. Oh yeah, you know what? No, we don't need to. We don't need to enough for now. I'm going to leave it there because I think that's all we really need to do. We're going to next player, and obviously it's going to take uh, its sort of little sweet time and calculate it all. Hmm. 
Um, I, I have played single player a couple of times before, but I haven't completed a game in single player. And the last time I played this was actually only a couple of hours ago. I sort of reinstalled it and tried to give it another go. And I got to about turn 15, and it was actually taking 30 and 40 seconds to calculate the entire turns and stuff, which is a little bit... Uh, slow for my liking but again it's one of those games that is it is unique so you know you're probably gonna love or hate it and um you know i'm glad it exists i really am all right i've just got my nuclear reactors which is good i'm gonna go for self adjusting optics and then second gen composites always get the basic ones generally uh, let's go to build here and then we're gonna spin around uh there we go there's pulls which is in the middle of nowhere and what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect a little nuclear plant up to that and put it on the outside and then i'm gonna put a real gun there and we'll probably leave it for now. I don't think it's built yet. No, it takes until next turn to build. There's my aiming circle, but obviously I don't have that. Here's my intelligence, so we can click on each of the planets. It's been changed up a bit since the last update, or like the, I guess the last time I showed the game. On the left is my intel, there's their intel, so like how much they know about us and counter intel and such. Obviously I've got no intel whatsoever, so uh, yeah, nothing I can do about that. Let's just go, oh, we'll just go to the next player, I guess. Look at that sun, it's um, it's a bit, ooh, that, that, that's, that's, that's birdie, that. I can feel the heat coming off my monitor. Look at the bloom, and then we can go inside the sun. There we go. See, we can fly straight into it and recharge like Destiny off Stargate Universe, which everybody hates on, but I think it's a good series, so, you know, up yours. Hmm. There we are. I do like the Stargates. I like Stargate. I like Stargate SG-1. Atlantis I could give or take because I thought it was just SG-1 but a little bit further away. And then uh, Universe was different that people really hated. But since I like Battlestar Galactica and it went sort of down that route, then it's all good. Don't know what this has to do with interplanetary, but you know, we're just talking about space in general. Right, so, uh, AI player turn 6. You can see it's taking a while. I'm literally doing nothing. Uh, and this is the AI trying to do their turn, not actual human players. I, I, I guess with less players then you know it would probably take a it'll probably uh, speed up a bit but you know since I've actually got a full eight AIs I thought I would just give it a go with full eight AIs and actually see what happens but uh, I'm zooming right out to see see exactly what we're going to uh, see if there's any shots fired because at the moment no I haven't seen any shots fired I mean we're only on a couple of turns in now obviously but uh, yeah still it might take a while. It also takes me a while to get my eye back in. There we go, we're simulating. Oh, there's some shots already going away. Several of them going. And I am blue. So it looks like yellow's been hit. Uh, green or teal's been hit. Looks like the inner purple blue guy has been missed. And then that shot's going wild. So nobody is uh, shooting me, which is over there. Which is a good thing. Although that thing's getting a bit close. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, Derek. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, no, it missed. It didn't hit me. That's good. Right, so, tech is uncued. We've got uranium alloys there, which gives us a bonus to, um, well, you can have radioactive payloads, which is a bit ropey. It's a little bit dodgy, I think, but either way, um, it sounds pretty funky. You can go proper evil and fire radioactive shells all over the place. Speaking of uh, shells, let's build a railgun. And I think I will on this railgun. I oh, can't get, it can't give it any other upgrades there. But you can see all of the damage and stuff that it actually does. I think I really do need to get some more mines up and running. We've currently got them mines there. Sadly, because that's in the dark, we're not getting anything. So I might have to sell that power plant. And how much is in one of them ones? It is 450. If I sold that, I would get. 200 or 320 so I would be on 370 not enough to build that thing there so I'm not going to do that I'll wait until next turn but obviously I'm not going to get any resources at the moment which is bad really really bad it's why you should really scatter off your um uh, scatter your solar plants around. One of the good things though is if you actually are oh, like that for example down the bottom there That's a perfect place to put a solar plant because that's on the pole which means it's pretty much always in sunlight Either way, uh, that's already in the queue. That's fine. Let's go to targeting. So who is my nearest enemy? I guess it would be green and teal. Mr. Teal from from That game. I'm trying to think what's Mr. Teal off? GT, it's GTA, Vice City, isn't it? Yeah, the best GTA. Um, people will disagree, but, uh, you know, that's fine. I will use my artillery cannon and fire it, and you can see the range of it there. And I reckon... I reckon I could fire it around there. I reckon I can fire and hit green over there. <laughs> that's far too far away. We're gonna give it a go. Here we are. So... Obviously, the uh, the arc and how you the arc and the actual power you use to fire the thing determines where it goes, and it's uh, it's where the simulation happens, where you get all these shots going around. I actually, 
I'm actually not a massive fan of the the, the shells exploding because basically the, these standard railgun shells they'll fire off and then they at, at the end of their travel they'll basically either hit a planet or they'll just explode in mid sp in a dead space so nothing happens. I would love to see them continue going and basically go on and on and on and on and on until they hit something. I don't know whether that's possible late game. I don't know whether later things might do that, but uh, you know. It would be interesting to see, wouldn't it? Just this shot whizzing past now. Or maybe even you fight one in turn two or three and then turn 50, it whacks you in the face. That would be funny. But I guess the shell would be really, really pathetic at that point because you'd have loads of upgrades and shields and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can actually click on the tutorial on the top right there and uh, it gives you the basics on how to play and stuff. It's a very, very simple game to play, but uh, probably something that's hard to master. Well, I, when I first played, I really liked the fact that you could just you know, blast your cannons everywhere and you shoot and shoot stuff and the actual aiming of it and stuff. I thought that was quite good, but then when I played multiplayer, I thought, you know, I found that it was a lot deeper than I originally thought and obviously it's about working out, you know, using intelligence and counterintelligence and shielding up and that sort of thing and actually picking your targets you know not necessarily fire at your neighbor fire at the person that's most f uh, the furthest away there we go there's my shell going i don't think it's going to hit you know because i don't think the simulation is going to end before it gets there but um that's looking good that's looking very good isn't it oh 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 god damn it that was so close that was so close you know what i mean it explodes in the middle of space oh that was that was just a tiny little bit more and I would have hit it. That's not bad for that distance. Anyway, what upgrades are we going to go for next? Advanced signal processing or uranium alloys? Um, hmm. Heavyweight projectiles? Maglex servos? Uh, optimized target leading. Yeah, let's get that one. I don't know what it is, but it sounds pretty cool. Actually, no, let's go for me molecular recy uh, recycling because we get more bonus. Looks like nobody's got any intelligence gathering yet, which is uh, a good thing for me. Right, so... I think I'm going to go down the bottom here, and that solar power plant is currently lighting that up, which is good. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to cheap out a little bit, and on the pole, I'm going to put a bit of a solar plant there, and then, oh, I was actually going to connect another, uh, I was actually going to connect another mine there, but apparently not. Right, okay, so targeting, I now have two sets of guns, and I think, if I'm a little bit better at my shots, I should be able to hit green again so let's give it a go and ah there we go there's the problem you can actually see where the guns are placed that little that little red line shows where the guns actually stationed so to get to green it would be pretty much impossible so we're not going to do that what we are going to do is probably aim for yellow and I'm probably going to aim about there because remember you have to that that's currently you can see the trajectory or the uh, the the trajectory, what it is at the moment based on the planetary bodies, obviously things will change. So I'm trying to just scatter this out a little bit more because I know that that's going to go for that. Obviously that plant's going to head that way and I want these shots to uh, obviously intersect at that point. So we'll go to next and then we'll see what happens. But you can see that I'm probably doing my turn and then it does take a while for it to calculate and stuff. Maybe this might be optimizations and things. Like that. I'm probably, re I'm, I'm recording this probably oh, two or three days before you actually see this video, I guess. But uh Either way, it's one of those things where, uh, yeah, it does take a little bit of time. But it's one of those games that, you know, if you are into it, then you, you, it doesn't. it's not really going to bother you. I like the way you can zoom right in there. Ooh, look at that nice planet. One of the, one of the things I'm really, really happy, the, 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 one of the changes that I really uh, am sort of happy with is that originally you ha used to see, like, little lights on the place, on, on, the, um, on the planet. But that was only a skin. It had nothing to do with the actual city that was on there. So it was so confusing because you'd see the lights and you'd go, oh, I can shoot that. Especially when you get the uh, the missiles and stuff that could, or the, like, the cluster bomb things. Um, you know, be, but you would fire them there and you'd hit nothing. Be, damn it, God damn it, damn it, damn it. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm glad they've changed that. I mean, a lot of changes and stuff, and it's one of those games where I went in early access and went, yeah, we're, gonna, we're making this game here and it's playable. And then, you know, after some development, it's now out and it pretty much, you know, did what it wanted to set out to do, I guess. Who knows if there's going to be uh, any more, as I said, but uh, still. And I still have got the subtleties down. There's my shots there. They're looking good. Someone else is hitting him, and... Nope, nope, the whiz passed. Okay, so someone else might catch this. Um, they're going pretty fast, aren't they? Don't say I'm going to hit that guy. No way. No way. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, there's my shots going off in a deep space there. You can see the actual asteroid belt that's on the outside there, and then they're off. Oh, well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, I should also point out that this, the, these planets and all of the uh, celestial bodies are all randomly generated and stuff, so they're different every time you play. You can change the seed and things like that. Right, so, 
down the bottom here, let's place a mine. We need some more mines. So there's a mine there, and that's pretty much all I can build at the moment. But I do want to get, because I think we've just got another upgrade here. Molecular recycling. Um, there's a super tensile materials, which is an offshore mine. That's pretty funky, isn't it? What else can we go for? You can see like the, some of the upgrades which you can get, which goes on a lot further than before. Mass drivers, which is asteroid uh, diversion. So you can actually fling asteroids at people. Orbital uh, manufacturing, which is a solar laser. Cool. Tailored pathogens. Ugh, that's really horrible. I guess I'm going to go up the centre one for uh, advanced signal processing because we currently haven't got any research. Research? No, I don't mean research, do I? I mean, um, I mean uh, intelligence. Yeah, I don't have any intelligence. Let's close that mine. I don't need that. I want to click on these mines and see what upgrades I can give it. That's 75% uh, mineral yield. That's uh, that's HP. I think we're going to go for mineral yield. I'll click on each one of these and see if I can give it. Nah, I'm out of resources for that one. So we can go for more mineral yield. What's the population of this planet? It's uh, 490, uh, not planet, the city rather. 495 million plus 17 million a, ta uh, a tick. So that's okay. And I can get myself an observation agency, which we should probably do something like that. Um, right, so two railguns in. Let me just go to intelligence a second and see. Ah, yes, looks like player four. Player four has got 30% of me scouted. That's what that means. Obviously, I've got nothing. So it, player four has got a little bit of intelligence. So that's something I, uh, I'm not a big fan of. So where is player four? He's over there. So he's pretty much my enemy at the moment, I think. What I'm going to do is actually curve the shot round to see if you can You can obviously adjust the, uh, the trajectory. So that should... If I just lessen the power a bit, you see, that'll actually go towards it and should slam straight into it there. So there's two guns, next player, and we'll see what happens. Uh, what's this codex button? I think it, oh yeah, it gives you a little a uh, little blurb about what stuff does. So this is what this is, this is what a missile is. I like, I like the art as well, it's, uh, it's quite good. I don't know what the story behind this is, I don't think there is one. I think it's just a case of planets are bad, everybody's there, shoot each other, go! But yeah, <laughs> it happens, it's a game. Good grief. Right. Um, I don't know what other defences or what, what other um, attack opportunities there are. Um... I used to like the laser myself. I don't know why. There was a like a laser. You could get orbital laser. Obviously, I think I showed you orbital laser in the uh, the little research tree anyway. But I used to use the uh, the laser. But the problem with that is it is direct target only. So if it's on the other side, like you can see me curving shots around the planet using obviously gravity and such. But um, when using laser, you have to target directly at the thing you want to hit. So it's. Yeah, it's problematic, but you know, it still works, I guess. What's my current population? Uh, 2,119 million. Cool. That's per tea. Per tea? Per tick? Per ton? Can't be per tick. No, it can't be per tick, not per ton. Uh, right, the amount of energy we've, uh, we have for this turn, 350. I probably need some more energy, actually. Hmm. I don't know if there's any... Um, oh, there we go, there's my shots. I don't know if there's any... Um, I guess there will be some sort of build that will be uh, optimal, but I don't know what that is because, like I said, I don't really play a great deal. But, um, yeah, it looks like these shots are going to be quite... I think they're going to hit. Here we go. Bang! Yes, and enemy building destroyed. There we go. So I've destroyed... Oh, there was another shot there coming in as well. I do like the fact that you can zoom right in and out. That's pretty funky. So, there we go. I've destroyed one of his buildings. I don't know what it was, but I destroyed something. Huzzah, which is quite good. Let's go for... Hmm, Maglic servos, optimized target leading. I do want that. That sounds pretty cool. Right, back to my main area. I think I want to get another set... I think another railgun would be quite... Yeah, I think another railgun is probably going to be a good thing. And at the bottom, we want to have another mine. So I guess put a mine over there. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we've got no more tonnage, uh, no more materials. Uh, that looks like player four, which is what I hit, has still got a bit of intel, so I don't think I managed to destroy any of his uh, other stuff. So let's just, I guess, curve the shot in like so, and again curve the shot in like so. So I don't think there's any doubt that I'm going to hit this fella, but there we go, and we will next turn. 
So yeah, I mean, you can see what the game is like. This is pretty much what it's like. I, I, I think... I think multiplayer, if you're on Skype or something, would be quite good. Uh, but uh, I have played, let's say, a couple of times just when you know, just with random players and stuff, and it does work. But it's a little bit uh, annoying when obviously you're like waiting for everybody to ready up and stuff. But uh, you know, that's one of those, that's one of those things, isn't it? I don't know what uh, the rest. Uh, what's happening over here? No, none of these planets is actually wrecked. There's actually a lot of planets now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I think. I don't know if I miscounted, but twenty-one plus the star in the middle. So that's like a lot of bodies in here. And obviously we've got this like asteroid uh, field around it. I don't know if you can see. It's very very small. But there you look, little asteroids and such. There you go. There's one. Oh god. Don't know why, but when you like go left and right, the camera sort of twitches. <laughs> Not a big fan. Of it. I don't know why it twitches like to look left and right. Either way, this is going to be funky watching this guy get wrecked. Here we go. My shot's going to come out and wang straight into that guy's pla uh, planet. I don't know if he's got guns, but I did destroy something, which is always a good sign. So hopefully I destroyed a railgun if he had any. But even if it's just a mine, there my shot's going out. It looks like there's not anything outgoing. No, there's nothing incoming, rather. Them, they are that, uh, Actually, though, those shots are looking a bit worrying. And, oh, good grief. I've just been hit. So I've destroyed, no, oh, damaged two buildings, and one of our cities is damaged as well. Ah, one of the ones I haven't really bothered with. Why are they shooting me? I've done nothing wrong. Well, I guess I've shot my neighbor, but I haven't shot them. That's a bit ropey. Right, okay. Uh, do you want to go for early warning? No. Farms? No. Surveillance analysis? I want shielding. I want some sort of shielding. That would be very, very, very good. Orbital solar plant. Mm. What do I want? I want new buildings is what I want. Data security lab. Kinetic defense upgrade. I'm just looking on the top, you see that. Uh, missile upgrade. Telescopic upgrade. Shield defense. There it is there. Let's go for shield defense. Right. So, looks like green is finding out a lot more about me. So, I'm going to have to do something about that. I do have kinetic defense, so I could... Uh, fire away there, but what I want to do is go over. In fact, you know, do I want to build another railgun? I've got 750. Kinetic defense would be good. If I put that on the pole, then the chances of me firing that are quite high. So let's go for a bit of the old kinetic defense. Ah, but it only covers a certain area, that's right. In fact, what I'll do then, telescopic array. Looks like there's a shot already in there. I'm going to put my telescopic array there. And I want to put a bit of the old nuclear power plants uh, there. Okay, so that should power that up. And the telescopic array will give me plus 12, like, sort of, um, what's it called? Spying? Uh, intelligence. Intelligence. So hopefully I can actually see uh, something about player 4, which is obviously my nemesis at the moment. But look at his planets. Uh, yeah, we've hit a couple of things, which is quite good. Dem uh, enemy buildings. Was that damaged or destroyed? Damaged, yes. I haven't destroyed anything yet. But I do have three railguns, so let's hope for hopefully we can rectify that. Now, this is a problem because he's so close, and I'm not really used to... Oh, God, look at that. Look at the angle on that. Um, I'm not really used to sort of firing directly. I like to really lead the shots a bit like that, you see. And... If I lead them like that, that would be better. Give them a bit more angle, you see. Mm. So I always try and stagger them a little bit because you don't want them all aimed in the same area because if you do miss, then guess what? You've missed them all. There we go. But I guess you could argue that if you're very accurate with one of them and they're all following the same path, then you're going to hit with all of them. Either way, I don't really like to fire directly because the chances are it's just going to go wee straight past. Whereas if you fire them around towards, actually either towards the way they're traveling or away from the way they're, they're traveling, then their gravity will actually pull the shots closer to them. So it's always best to do it that way. At least that's what I've found. Always fire towards them because, like I said, if you fire that way and it misses, it will go wee 
you can do that, it'll, sp it'll swing around the planet, it'll slingshot around and then head over this way. If you fire it like that, and it starts coming back over, even if it's a little bit off so it would zip past, the gravity of this planet would pull it in and then you'd smack into it. So, you know, gravity is, um, well, it's, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a good force. It's a force for good in this instance, assuming that guy is really evil. Um, he is green, so maybe he's like a, I don't know, a green skin on there, some orcs or something. Who knows? I just want to see what my next shot does. Look at the state of that planet. That has been hit now. There's all little burny bits coming off it. Mmm. Look, I like that. In fact, that's the atmosphere there. You see that this little glow and stuff. If we put it towards the sun, will we see it a bit better? Mm, not really, no. There you go. That's oh, because that's obviously lit up. Right, here we go. Simulating. So there's my shots came out. So where are we going to hit? Yep, that hit. And I don't know about the rest. Are they still going in? Nope, that's missed. Oh my, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, them shots missed. And also, one of our cities has been destroyed. Wow. Okay, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. <gasps> good grief. Power grid severed. Where have they hit? Ah, yeah, right on there where my telescopic array was. My city's actually... Yeah, it has been destroyed. Good grief, I'm not doing so well. Anyway, you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there because I am out of beverage. Can you actually save the game? You can save the game, so that's good. It's one of those things I'll uh, probably jump back in and finish off at a later date, although <laughs> the way this is going, um, maybe not. I might actually start again. It's one of those things where the tutorial in the codex tells you what you need to do. It doesn't really tell you what you probably should do. It just goes, this is how you build this, not why you should do this. But uh, yeah, I guess that's just why you play and uh, get a feeling for it. Either way, link's in the description so you can check it out yourself. It's it's certainly not a bad game. It's actually something that uh, I would recommend, but uh, only for people who have got a bit of patience. It's, uh, it's really not for people who are wanting just like a, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who this is for. I guess it's for people who really want a space-based artillery game. But uh, yeah, it, I guess it, I guess it's niche. Yeah, it's niche, but it's fun, and that's uh, that's the main thing, isn't it? Anyway, as I said, links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.